KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone, good evening. This is Drishti Batra from KP classes and in today's video I have come up with a very important news. First of all, GATE 2026 information brochure is out. Second of all, the online registration have already begun. So it began on 28th of August and you'll be able to fill up your online registration form till the 28th of September. Do not wait till the last week or the last day to fill up your form. Start the filling process right away. Okay, you may have to collect a few documents also. So start the process right away. That is what we will recommend. Second, the step-by-step -step process which we are going to show to you in today's video is very very important so make sure you watch the entire video till the end and while watching this video you are sitting with pen and paper so that you can make notes okay whatever documents i'll mention in this video make sure that you keep it with yourself before you start the form filling process that is going to be very helpful to you okay so without any further delay let's start with the step-by-step -step form filling process as soon as you go to the online web portal or the official website for GATE 2026, this will be the first page that you will be able to see. But you do not have to put in all this information. First, you will have to go and register. Okay, so here register has been written. You will have to first register. There are some basic details that they will ask for and on your uh, uh, mail ID or on your registered phone number they will send you the enrollment number after that entire process is done you will be redirected to this page where you will have to put in the enrollment number and the password that you have created and then you will start with the login process okay so let me tell you first how to register uh, on this web portal so first of all you put in your name so first name middle name surname okay automatically your name will be shown over here whatever you have typed in it will automatically come over there click on confirm and then move ahead okay now it says are you sure there's a pop-up that is saying are you sure your name is uh, drishti batra second this name will appear in your gate 2026 admit card and qualifying scorecard press continue to confirm the name so uh, either if you have to make any changes you have you will have to click on cancel or you click on continue okay but make sure you are writing your name very carefully now you may be wondering it's just the name it's my name i know it so why am i emphasizing on that so first of all the uh, name that is there on your official id okay the proof that you are going to produce for gate 26 that exact name should be written for example uh, there is some different spelling of my name maybe in different uh, ids there are different spellings so number one that second of all i may have used my middle name or may not have used my middle name in let's say the aadhaar card if i'm going to produce that so i'll have to be very sure that the exact name is what i'm writing over here otherwise later on there can be discrepancies okay now moving on uh, after you've written your name they'll ask for your mail id and you'll have to confirm the mail address again so uh, this id should be the one that you are currently using because uh, on this id you'll get the otp and all the further communications from uh, gate okay so make sure that you are choosing the email id very carefully the current one only you should be using then you have to put in your mobile number same thing holds true for your mobile number also use the one that you are currently you uh, you know put in the number that you are currently using okay then confirm your mobile number and here you'll have to create password ideally your pa password should have capital letters it should have small letters it should have numbers and it should have special characters what are these special characters for example at the, at the rate something like this for example exclamation for example underscore all these things okay so you have to make sure that your password is a combination of all of these things then you type in your password again and you evaluate this arithmetic expression over here and write the answer in the box okay once you are sure that you have put in all the information correctly you click on register okay and then we move ahead now with respect to password let's say you've used everything you've used a combination of a lot of things but still if your password is weak they'll show you a red line and it'll be written written very weak or weak something like that over there if let's say uh, your password is strong it will show a green line and it will say very strong or strong okay so be careful with respect to that as well 
next there is a pop up that shows registration has been successful then thank you for registering for gate 2026 sms and email both containing your enrollment id have been sent to you you need to remember this id for all gate 26 related communications okay everything you will get on this mobile number and this mail id so again reiterating choose is, is very carefully it should not happen that uh, probably uh, you do not remember the password or you do not have that number with you anymore these kind of uh, things should not happen and this enrollment id that you will get on your email id make sure you are not sharing that with anyone and you are not sharing your password with anyone okay keep in mind that okay then moving on you will be redirected to the first page this time you write down the enrollment number that has been sent to you on your mail and sms the password that you have created you are supposed to put in that and again uh, evaluate the arithmetic expression and put it over here this time you click on login okay you've already registered that is done this time you click on login okay moving on um, let's say in case uh, time out ho jata hai, for example okay and you're not able to move ahead you have to log in again uh, something like a pop-up will be shown to you and every time you'll have to click on uh, edit the form okay keep in mind that so start filling up the form or edit the form something like this will be there so you have to again and again click on that now welcome application status so you'll have to make sure that you read the information brochure before start uh, starting uh, of the filling up form process now uh, this information brochure is also available on the official website we at kp classes have also made a detailed video and it is available on our youtube channel so you can go and check that also so here you click on um, hi i hereby declare that i have read the information brochure and i am ready to fill the application form and then you click on this start filling uh, gate 26 application form next these are the details that you are supposed to fill in so one by one you will be moved uh, ahead so let's say you you are done filling up your personal details then you will be redirected to degree or sorry address and then degree and so on okay so starting with the exam details first of all um, there are combinations also that you can choose from again that detail you will get from the information brochure i am considering that uh, you people are just going to give gate architecture and planning uh, paper this is what i am assuming for now that is why i have selected that so select gate paper one primary so first you have to select whether you are giving one or two uh, papers i have written one and then i have chosen the one paper that i want to give then choice of examination city for example i choose lucknow okay the second city or the second option that i want to give cannot be in Tamil Nadu or cannot be in um, Kolkata for example I am living currently in Lucknow or in Delhi and my hometown is in Kolkata for example I won't be able to give these two locations the primary or the first examination center that I choose okay with respect to that you will get the choices for center 2 and center 3 the other cities will be nearby to your primary city okay so that you have to keep in mind and then click on save first click on save and then next every time that you're moving from one area to the other you have to click on save first and then next okay this is mandatory every time next enrollment id okay enrollment id you'll have to put in or it will be so it will be given over there okay the enrollment id will be given over there uh, then name that is going to appear on this that is uh, there email address it is already you have given uh, mobile number you have already given this time what you have to do is verify email address you have to click on this uh, OTP will be sent on your email ID you will have to put in that to verify similarly for your mobile number also you will receive uh, OTP and you will have to put in the OTP over here to verify your mobile number then you choose your date of birth select on confirm date select gender select nationality by default it will be given as indian you'll have to change it if required then you'll have to select your category and pwd that is person with disability if yes uh, you'll have to change this to from no to yes okay then uh, after this you'll be asked are you sure this is your date of birth okay when you type in your date of birth that time you'll be asked and the date of birth is reported here will be needed uh, during the gate examination so press continue to confirm it so you have to put in the correct one here you put or uh, you select continue and then you move ahead 
the next set of details asked are with respect to your address so country of permanent residence select the country state select the state or uh, the ut then valid photo id the proof that we have been talking about so you have all these options you have the aadhar uh, id aadhar virtual id driving license pan card passport and so on so make sure you have at least one of these with you uh, in the prescribed format before you start filling the process okay we'll come to the prescribed format also uh, towards the last uh, stage then valid photo number let's say you select aadhar card as the id you'll have to put your aadhar number or your passport number anything okay then name of the guardian so either you select your uh, mother's name or your father's name or your spouse that you'll that name you'll have to put it over here and then the relationship so for example you put in your father's name you put the name over here and here for the next one you select father or you select mother whatever okay then parent guardian nationality by default it will be given as indian you change it if required and mobile number of parent guardian that you'll have to put in make sure you are giving their number not yours at this stage okay then click on save and then click on next okay application status so this occurred when i was logged out of my uh, form theek okay? hai so at that time this pop up will come and every time you'll have to click on edit application form if in case you are logged out of it next address for correspondence so um, pin your permanent addresses or your correspondent addresses pin you'll have to put in country state or ut and the address in detail okay then your city or the town that will be uh, you know that will come automatically then you click on save and then next again next is your qualifying degree details so this time you have to put in the details of your college and not your personal details or not your address details etc so college pin code you have to put in country of the college uh, state of the college city or town of the college so make sure you are making no mistakes over here then your roll number in case you do not have your roll number you can put in your enrollment id or whatever um, is your identification proof from that particular college okay you can put in that now qualifying degree you have to select b arc and over here you will get um, options to choose from theek okay? hai so here you click on the drop down menu and you choose b arc or whatever holds true for you and then over here also the second one you are you'll have to click on the drop down menu and then select this so i have chosen architecture and architectural engineering this option because that holds true for me you'll have to check whatever holds true for you you'll have to go for that so uh, architecture combined with interior designing that option is also there so choose whatever holds uh, true for you theek okay? hai then have you graduated in the above degree in my case yes i have graduated so i clicked on yes in case you are still pursuing your uh, degree you can click on no and then year of qualifying degree you can put it over there okay whatever year is true for you then degree awarding university or institute name so the university name you have to put in first and then the college name you'll have to put in okay then again save and next upload documents now read this very carefully first of all you should go through the information brochure in detail and then only start with the form filling process and here again all the details of the uh, format of the required document is given over here so read it carefully once again so the first one upload color photograph okay upload jpg jpeg or png file only okay minimum pixel resolution is given as 200 multiplied by 260 and maximum is given as 530 into 800 if i'm not wrong this is not clear you can check it in the official site i think it is uh, 690 or something like that you can just check it okay then aspect ratio height is to width 1 is to r where r must be between 0.66 to 0.89 face must cover 60 to 70% of the photograph and file should be between 5 kb to 600 kb theek okay? hai then if in case you want to uh, look into more details and you haven't already let's say you click on this uh, link that will direct you to the information brochure theek okay? hai similarly details have been given for your signature also now what kind of photographs okay the format details are over here but what kind of photograph you should upload what mistakes you should avoid while uploading these photographs all that detail you will get from information brochure so they've given some examples 
कि दिस काइंड ऑफ इमेज यू शुड नॉट अपलोड दिस इज हाउ योर इमेज शुड लुक लाइक इन ऑल दीज थिंग्स मेक श्योर यू गो थ्रू देम केयरफुली सो फर्स्ट यू अपलोड योर कलर फोटोग्राफ देन यू अपलोड योर सिग्नेचर आफ्टर दैट यू अपलोड योर फोटो आई डी सो लेट से यू हैड सिलेक्टेड आधार कार्ड एंड यू हैड पुट इन योर आधार नंबर ओवर देर यू विल हैव टू अपलोड द आधार इन द फॉर्मेट ऑफ पी डी एफ ठीक है ओवर हियर देन हाउ डिड यू कम टू नो अबाउट गेट आर्किटेक्चर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स यू क्लिक ऑन द ड्रॉप डाउन मेन्यू देव गिविन सम ऑप्शन यू चूज फ्रॉम दैट एंड देन वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ अप्लाइंग फॉर गेट ट्वेंटी सिक्स एग्जाम so uh, do you want to apply for psu do you want to uh, apply for higher education those exam uh, those options are given you can choose from that now talking about uh, selection for psu many of you know that you can get selected into masters and you can get selected for phd and other doctoral programs through gate examination uh, many uh, people do not know that you can also get into psu through gate examination so earlier they would just allow Uh, the same years gate score for uh, you know uh, the jobs psu jobs for example if you are applying uh, in 2025 they'll allow only 25 gate score but this year aai that is airport authority of india has recently released a uh, job job vacancies for architects in which they are accepting 2023 24 and 25 gate score card so this is very uh, good news for all of us okay so that is another thing that i wanted to tell you now first click on save then view application make sure you complete uh, this okay process also okay view application once you click on view application you will be able to see all the details that you have filled in so far check everything and then only move ahead okay so uh, for example the exam details the paper that you have opted for the cities that you have opted for personal details everything that you have filled in so far will come again in front of you check it once again okay then uh, your address for correspondence details of qualifying uh, degree and all the documents that you have uploaded all that you will be able to see okay once you are done with this then uh, you can go back over here hmm. you can go back over here you can review and submit you can click on this and then move ahead ठीक है नाउ ओके देर इज अ डेक्लेरेशन विच सेज दैट आई कन्फर्म दैट आई हैव गिवन ऑल द डिटेल्स करेक्टली एंड आई एम रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर यू नो एनी केस इन विच द इंफॉर्मेशन हैज बीन अपलोडेड रॉन्ग एंड ओनली आई एम लाइबल फॉर दैट ठीक है एंड इट ऑल्सो सेज दैट आई हैव अंडरस्टूड एवरीथिंग रिलेटेड टू गेट एग्जामिनेशन सो वंस यू क्लिक ऑन दिस you have to put in e signature e signature is very simple you just have to type in your full name whatever you had written in the first uh, first slide wala cheez whenever you were supposed to write your name with your middle name with the surname etc that itself you have to put in over here and then verify application form and then you click on submit and proceed to payment after which only one step is uh, remaining you have to make the payment again the payment details you will be able to find in the information brochure you can check it over there theek okay? hai all the options are there credit card debit card upi everything is there so i don't think you uh, should face any problem in that now this was the video i hope you have written down all the notes if in case you come across any problem you can uh, drop it in the comment section and we will reply to you that's it for now stay tuned with us and we will come up with more information Thank you. KP classes dedicated to excellence.